Pickoff man. He was checking with his unit. The other 10 guys is approaching the ball. Here we go. And it will come down uh, inside the end zone at about uh, two yards deep. And here comes the return. Back out to the 20. Breaks across the 30, 32 yard line. Kristen Mike will be Schumard, Ike, Matthews, Allen, and Grimes. And the offensive line for AM. Halfback right. Gerard's going to throw it to that guy out of the flats. Got a lead block for Grimes. 40, 45, 50. Cuts across the 50s to the 46 yard line. That's Cyrus Gray, who gets his first catch of the season. And uh, a big play uh, to move into uh, Utah territory. First and 10, a broken tackle in the backfield and should have been a loss. The Aggies will get a yard out of that from the 47 yard line to the Utah State 46 yard line. And now, and this time, will show an eye formation. And Jamie McCoy will be the fullback. He turns around quickly and says something. Pitch right side. That's Gray looking for the corner. Won't, yeah, he did break a tackle. Had a blocker out there, and he kind of went off the side of McCoy and has run out of bounds across the 45 and at the 42-yard line. And is there a flag down over there somewhere? I don't see one. Oh, apparently not. Okay. At oh, the, there's one down over here, Dave, right at the 47-yard line on the A and TAM. Oh, yeah. Clipping. Number 71 on the offense. 76, correction. That's a 15-yard penalty. That goes on Michael Schumar. Shotgun halfbacks each side of Gerard. Rolls to his left, looking to throw. There's a cut, and it's a catch, and that's at the 49-yard uh, line. Right, Aggies side of the 50. That's Fuller. That will be Jeff's 11th that catch off the season. Percent. The Aggies on those third downs opening game, 56%. Shotgun again, needing the... 37-yard line, rolling right, still looking. Now he's throwing. He's got a guy. He's going into a big crowd, and that's off the fingertips of Tannehill at about the five-yard line. Key John Murphy will be the guy to return. The punter's Kenwood, four kicks, 43-5 on his average. He takes the snap at the Aggie, 35, kind of a pooch kick, and Murphy's going to come up to take it at the 12. And uh, there's going to be a got to be a clip there on that. There was. They're going to get a return back to the 20. He got it. Our guy back deep. Got clipped. He was going to make the tackle, except he had a guy crawling up his back. That's a 39 yard punt that was kicked for purpose and uh, trying to pooch one. And the flag's on the turf back there at the 13 yard line. So Woods first effort. They ask him to get it up, but not into the end zone. And it's a penalty against the uh, return team for Utah State. And are we going to a timeout? Not yet. 13 12 to go. We're playing the first quarter. The Aggies. He will be empty in the backfield. Three wides to the right, and he has two to the left. Looks, throws, it's a catch. It's out to the 14-yard line. This time he'll have a running back, moves him from the left side to the right, and it's going to be a quarterback draw. Steps up, he is running, and he got the first down. Up three, and their first first down of the night. And now running the option. There's the pitch on the corner. And that'll be, I think, Turbin, and he's across the point needed or close to it for the first down run out of bounds at the 27 yard line right. out now with a stacked eye three right behind the quarterback Burrell and the lead man got it and he, the line of scrimmage was the 28 will pick up yardage to the 31 picked up three now he's flexing the tight end out to the left side they've got two men over there one behind the other at the line of scrimmage Rolls to his right, looking to throw, sets himself. Now he's forced out of the pocket, and he's going to run with it. Being chased by Mangum. Likely to get a first down. He goes out of bounds at the Utah State 44-yard line. Three of them now on their first possession of the evening. 11-14 to go first period. They'll score Utah State the ball at their own 45. The inside handoff broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Just got five from the 45 to the 50. Three here on the right side. Single set back. Morrell was under center. The guy, that's Turbin outside at the 50 at the 4 at the Aggie 30 at the 20. He likely is going to score, and he just did. Robert Turbin, who had a 96-yard run against Utah, Utah just State. scored, and they're up with 10.31 to go Robert here Turbin. in the first quarter at 6 to nothing. And that went 51 yards. This was a counter trap. They, he made a fake back to the right side and then cut back left and give the guard time to pull and open the hole. And once he got outside, he broke containment and outran the secondary. 51 yards for the touchdown for Turbin. So they score on their first possession, and they've got the lead, and now the extra points. And this is Yulinski. He is has a shift on. I kind of like the swing and gate. On the extra point, 10-31 first period, and it's 6-0 before the extra point attempt. It's down, it is up, and it is good. So he just scored. That time, uh, yeah, Turbin yeah, broke outside, and, of course, Tom mentioned it. Uh, he, uh, he had a 96-yard run uh, 
uh, two weeks ago against Utah, so he's he's definitely a dangerous back. But the Aggies didn't have did not contain him at all during that drive. Michael and Swope are back deep again this time. It'll be Michael instead of the end zone. He'll return it from the three to the 20. Jumps over a little huddle right there at the 20 yard line and still pushing his way. And they finally push him back and knock him down at the 21. But they'll give him the 24 yard line. Rod Johnson will move under center. And he has a single setback in Cyrus Gray. Fakes to Gray. Rolls all the way back behind the 15. Throws. And it's Wachaku. And he hits the ground as he had the ball in and out of his hands at the. Utah State 45 yard line. The Utah State defense and Wachiku was able to break clean, had two or three yards on his defender, the ball just outside of his reach. And the no huddle offense, we're right back at the line, and we have a legal procedure against Texas AM. And that'll back it up by five from the 24 back to the 19. Our second penalty of the night, so we've been penalized twice now for 20 yards. Seem to think it may have been Schumard here on the uh, left side. Short drop by Johnson. Cox's his arm once, doesn't throw it. Now he's being chased, and he is going to throw it back over his shoulder. He did have a man behind him, and that was right Cyrus Gray. Incomplete. So trying to get rid of the ball, threw it over Gray's head. And now the officials are going to talk. Yeah, they're discussing is that grounding or did he have a legit? They just threw the flag. Down. I don't know how they can do that. He was outside the tackle box. He had a receiver and it went right over his head. How can that be intentional grounding? Okay, well, it's, it is, and they will back it up for our third penalty of the night to go. First period, Utah State leads Texas A&M 7 to nothing in the shotgun. Rolling to his left in the end zone. Throwing. That's Tannehill across the 15. Puts a move on a man. They've got him wrapped up. About one, two, three, four, five guys are there. The ball caught at the 19-yard line. The sense that uh, the Aggies can move the ball against Utah State, but they keep making mistakes, and uh, so this is going to bring up another punt. All right, takes the snap back at the five. Wood puts his foot into it. They're coming over to the 39, and now they return by Murphy, and they're right on top of him. He got about a two-yard return. A flag down as he is tackled at the 40-and-a-half-yard line. And the officials gathering uh, right out here at the uh, Utah State 45-yard line. But StubHub, everybody wins because fans supply the tickets and set the prices. StubHub provides a safe marketplace and fan protect guarantee. For great Aggie tickets, go to StubHub.com or call 1-866-STUBHUB. StubHub, the official second to state's got it. First down and 10 at the Aggie 44-yard line. Up to center was Burrell. The ball's on the ground, and AM and just recovered a fumble at the Aggie 46-yard line. Burrell tried to hand that off. It was a... Handoff intended, I think, for Michael Smith, and they yeah, never were able to get to it. And Matt Moss was right there to fall on top of the ball. So the first turnover of the night, that's three we picked up now this year. Get it right back, and uh, it is a shotgun for Johnson. Drops back behind the 40, throws to this side, and he threw it behind Jeff Fuller. Fuller. Got Morrill, Wachiku, Fuller, McCoy, Gray in the lineup right now. Ball's been snapped, just gave it to Cyrus looking for the outside. Somebody's got him by the ankle. On the left the side of the formation, Ray and drug down after uh, about a yard gain. Third down play for Texas A&M. Long counts. Gerard has it. He's under pressure. He broke a tackle. He's rolling to his right. He's got a chance for a first down, and he'll run it out of bounds at the 43-yard line. A yard one, more one, than one, he one, needs. One, he carries 57 yards. Kristen Michael of the ball game just gave it to him. He's across the 40, fighting. He's all the way to the 35-yard line. He picked up eight. Second down, a couple coming up. Official on that sideline comes off of the sideline, and uh, Utah State has called for a timeout. As we come back, the Aggies just went deep, and as the official called a touchdown, yes, he as did Roger call it. Roger Koo caught it, leaping in the end zone, and they say he did score on a 35-yard pass. They didn't keep that uh, the full 60. We apologize, but Roger Koo on a fly pattern. Well, Dave, you can describe what happened. That was a play-action fake, and uh, first it's second and two, so the fake worked. It's a great catch by Roger Koo. Play action fake and uh, streak down the right sideline for Wachiku. He goes up over the defender and comes down with it in the end zone. I think they're going to review this one. They're going to have to see if he came down inbounds. We're about ready to kick off. The game is tied at 7 now. It's 7.49 to go in the first quarter. Bullock has just kicked off, and it's coming down at the one-yard line. It'll be Kerwin Williams on the return back to the 15. Tripped up, 
Goes down at about the 18-yard line. A first down and 10 at the 18. And the snap, it is a handoff. They try the middle, outside Turbin at the 25. Bounced out to the left. He's across the 30, and they run him out of bounds. Big yardage, big gain there. 20 to go. We're playing in the first quarter. It's a 7-7 game right now. Texas A&M and Utah State. Shotgun, halfbacks each side. Play action. Barbarell steps up into the pocket, forced to run. Looking, throwing, and it's incomplete at midfield. Second down, 10 empty in the backfield. Three wides right, two to the left. The short side's to the left of Burrell. Drops back to the 33, throws a man, pass to a man behind the line, and fights for the 45-yard line. On their third downs tonight, they uh, have none. This will be their first, and it's a first down. And it is at the Aggie 40, across the 40 will go... Kerwin, is it Williams? It's Michael Smith, 34, not 30, and he just picked up a first down. He pitched it left-handed into the line of scrimmage, and it's a big pickup down to 16 yards. All right, first down play from the Aggie 38. Morrell steps up, throws. Tight end's going to get it. Takes a knee after he is hit at the Aggie 26-yard line. Morrell stepped up like he was going to run. That pulled the linebacker out from in front of the tight end, and that's why it was complete. And they're on the ground again, and it's out to the 20-yard line, and that's going to be Smith. Second down four at the Aggie 21-yard line. Well, almost dropped the ball. He is looking. He's got a man wide open at the three. That's Turbin fighting at the one-yard line. They will bring him down Morrell's at the passing. one. At the one, Ashmark right side. Morrell trying to fight his way, and he does. The quarterback that's gets in for a eight. touchdown Andre from a Andre yard Burrell out. Here. DeAndre Burrell gets his second touchdown of the season. That just put him up 13 to seven. Time 5-12, first quarter, and now the point after. Seven nothing. The Aggies tie at seven. Taking a lot of time here before they uh, snap it. It's down and it is up, and the extra points is good. good. I think we're going to keep it right here, and we'll have Tom recap that drive here in a moment. Austin Westlake standing at about the uh, seven yard line, getting his first action. Did not play in the opening ball game. And and it's going to be Michael, and he's coming up at the one-yard line, to the 5, to the 10, to the 15. Cuts outside, looking for the 20, stops, trying to go back the other way, and he does. And now he's at the 20-yard line, trying to get it outside. Got a lead block at the 30, at the 35. Cuts back again, 40, and he's to the 46-yard line. Goodness gracious. First down and 10, the Aggies at their own 45 on the ground. A gain here of five, six yards. And it'll be Cyrus Gray, the sophomore from DeSoto. To, to Gray right up the middle, picks up six. Good job by the offensive line. No change in the offensive line. Cut back to the right. Got a first down. Broke a tackle at the 45. Goes to the 41-yard line. That's Cyrus Gray again. Right to the left of Gerard. Gerard's got three wides, two in a slot to the right side. One man here on the left, and that is Fuller. Steps up and will run with the ball. He'll run into heavy traffic across the 40 to the 39. Got two. I don't think he really wanted to throw it. That's the way they start the quarterback draw, and he'll pick up two and it is coming back to this side that is going to be watch at the 25 20 oh got a block as two guys ran into each other and they ran into an Aggie and he just scored a touchdown oh I love this play 39 yards I believe 39 yards it's a reverse to watch at a toss in the backfield and what great blocking downfield he got two key blocks they knocked down the pursuit and watch gets his second touchdown of the night to give the Aggies a chance to tie it with the extra point. They have a chance to watch it. And they had two of their guys that ran together right there. Actually, there was a block there on one of them, and that blocks Watt Frady. But those two guys stay on their feet, and maybe he doesn't get in. But, but he did, and we go 39 on that one. How about that? Good play. And now the extra point by Bullock. Snapped, down, up, and it's good. Okay, come back to tie it again, been tied at seven, been tied now at 14, where we stand with 330. Check in with his kickoff team. Put a lot of work in on special teams in practice. And the kick is going to be a little short. Come up and take it at the eight yard line to the 15. Outside to the left, it goes across the 20, across the 30. And on his back, Wachaku as he crosses the 45-yard line and goes to the Utah State 47 and a half. And a flag down right there at the end of that play. Wachaku comes over to make the tackle, and that'll be a 40-yard return. Well, he started it back to the left side, straightened it up to the middle, and then uh, bounced it out to the left side again. Wachaku makes the tackle. Well, let's go with the defensive seven. That's Terrence Frederick that was there. And we got another penalty against Texas A&M. Morrell on the shotgun has a running back to his left. That this time will be Turbin. Three wides to the open side. Going to throw over here. Got a screen. Ball's caught. 35. That's Frederick. Flagged down. 
from deep in the secondary, and the flag uh, will be thrown by one of the back judges, uh, and that'll go down at the 36 is where the tackles move. Excellent containment this time by Terrence Frederick, who got up quickly, kept position outside, then able to get away from the blocker and make the tackle. They have one penalty for six yards tonight, and one of the defensive uh, guys for the Ags just signaled that it's against Utah State. Stops the clock, 323, first quarter, 14 apiece. And let's listen. Personal foul, Personal foul. legal block will the waste. Number 11, that penalty is declined. Personal, Personal foul, foul. chop block. block. Number 61 on the offense. That's a 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. We play first down. Game is 14 apiece here at Kyle Field tonight. Great crowd. And it is a handoff, somewhat of a delay across the 50 to the Aggie 48 and a half Robert yard line. Turner got that carry. Good snap, drops back to the 45, another screen, and the Aggies are all over that. That'll be a loss. On their thirds now tonight, they are one out of one. It's a long third. Burrell got away from some pressure, throws it at the feet of the intended receiver. He'll take the snap at his own 32. Line of scrimmage is the Utah State 49. No pressure. Wobbly kick coming off here to the right side. Going to hit and going to take an A&M roll, actually hit at the Aggie 18, and it bounces back to the 20 on the Aggie wheels. The Aggie wheels support A&M athletics. We want you to support the Aggie wheels. First down and 10 at our own 20. Play action by Gerard. Throws. That's Jamie McCoy at the 35, at the 40, at the 45. Spins out of the tackle across the 50. He goes to the 48-yard line. Mm -hmm. Completions for Gerard. Five different guys have caught a pass tonight. First down and 10 at the Utah State. 48, we dive over the right side. Number that was Kristen, Kristen Michael. Shotgun empty in the backfield, two wides each side of the ball. The open side is to the left. Drops back, he steps up, now he's forced to run, cuts back to his left, he's gonna get a first down. That's Gerard carrying to the 35 yard line. You just don't expect a quarterback that big to be able to do what he did and he shaked, uh, he made a move on Randall, the cornerback that uh, sprung him for several more yards. Right back to play, a quick handoff to Kristen Michael, goes to the 31, that's gonna be a pickup of about five yards. Again, Kristen Michael, that may be the last play. You know, third down, we need four, we're at the Utah State 30 are got a flag. It's going to be a third down and nine now. And that is going to be penalty number six. Oh, boy. Uh, probably they'll go to something else. Uh, depends on what they had called. Here comes the blitz. They had come, and they were. And here is Gerard throwing, and he got hit as he's releasing the football. And it goes incomplete. I want to see what happens. And they're threatening again. They're bringing one of those guys up close. Not coming this time. Plenty of time. No pressure. Dancing around. Still looking. Tries to run. Almost got tackled. Now he's rolling back to this side of the field. Still looking down the field. Cutting back the other way. Running hard. And now cuts back. Broke another tackle. There's a shoe off. There's a helmet off. And he's down at the 34-yard line. Got a yard after all said and done. All right. First down and 10 at the 34. Their own 34, Utah State. Coming up in the backfield. A running back each side. Run the option. There's a pitch. He threw it out of bounds off the left. He hit. had the quarterback, and he got in his face so fast that the quarterback threw it behind the pitch man. Second down, a quick throw and a screen, and broke a tackle at the 40. He's going to be close for a first down. Fights to the 43-yard line. Now third down and a yard. It's an eye formation. Now they'll use that uh, little stack formation. Up's going to be their wishbone formation. Right. They shift it out of that. And they got a timeout called. Off the sideline. Yeah, they got a timeout call before they snapped the ball. Morrell squats down behind the center, waiting on the snap. He has it, and he's going to keep it. Now he pitches, and the Aggies are going to stop it at the 43. All right, fake. And uh, did they get it? Yes. They did. They faked on the punt, and they just they picked up a first right. down and 10 at their own 46. Time 12:45. Second quarter, tied at 14. Half back right, and Burrell's going to run, squirting outside to the right side, and he will pick up about nine yards. In territory. That's the 10th first down they have picked up. And they're now 199 yards of total offense on 24 plays. And Burrell will drop back in a shotgun, play action, steps up, he's throwing, got a guy, and he'll overthrow him. And second down and 10 at the 44. They'll go on the ground, and the Ags were right there for it. That's Tony Gerard, Eddie. 
at the line of scrimmage. Stop the medium. On their thirds, one out of three. They need the Aggie 34 yard line. The line of scrimmage, the Aggie 44. And a quarterback draw. No go on that one. Lost a yard to the 45. Morrell. Well, they're in Aggie territory. Need to look again. Make sure that it's fourth and 11. I doubt they'll fake it, but you got to be careful. Good snap. Outside pressure. Punts away. And is going to be killed at the AM 11 yard line. That thing just died. No, really. One of the most uh, difficult decisions I ever made, but uh, I didn't want to hack around in the minor leagues in baseball. That came from Kyle Jones here in Bryan Air. The Aggies on a first down and 10. And it's over the head of a long pass to the 40 yard line, our side of the 50. Uh, yeah, play action fake that time. Uh, did a good job. It, the ball just a little overthrown. Watch Goo was open. Right now, 5 of 10 throwing the ball. And we just went on the ground. We tried the middle and. Uh, that's Cyrus and maybe two yards to the 13-yard line. Matthew squats down, looks around the Aggie center. And we just, what happened? Illegal False start. Procedure. False, start. False start. Offense, number 76. Five-yard penalty remains third down. Still need to get it out to the 21. Line of scrimmage is the eight. The series of downs started at the 11. Halfbacks both sides of Gerard Johnson, the Aggie quarterback. As the snap drops back to the goal line.